Alright everybody, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I want to show you guys how you can actually find winning products on uh, using Google Ads because I know this is something that, you know, I received like a ton of DMs from you guys and one of the most common questions that I get is like, yo Gary, how do I actually find winning products? So here you go, today I'll be sharing you guys how you can actually find winning products, especially if you are trying to, you know, build like a really long term successful business using uh, Google Ads, alright? This video is going to be immensely valuable for you. So make sure to stay tuned to the end because towards the end, I actually share some really, really valuable insights that's gonna really, really help you grow your business, all right? So if you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome back or like, hello, hello. My name is Gary Lim and I'm a 22 years old e-commerce entrepreneur based in Singapore. But right now, I'm currently in Phuket still, right? Look, look at my background, there are like trees behind me and it's a really, really, you know, beautiful island over here, all right? So anyway, let's get right into the video, which is, you know, finding winning products with Google Ads, okay? So, first thing first, alright, what, what are we gonna learn today, alright? The first thing that you guys are gonna learn is understanding the nature of Google Ads itself, the platform of Google Ads, and this is extremely important, because if you don't understand how Google Ads actually even work, you won't be able to actually understand what kind of products to sell on Google, alright? Secondly, I will share with you guys how you can actually find ideas to find products, Followed by understanding how to actually validate a product. What are some of the criteria that you actually have to look at when it comes to running Google shopping campaigns and Google search campaigns, all right? And lastly is the two testing strategies, which is gonna be immensely valuable. And this is something that I literally, I just like, you know, kind of like had like a realization early on, you know? And this is something that I noticed have helped me find like so many winners. So you wanna make sure you stay tuned to the end because it's gonna be extremely valuable, all right? So understanding Google Ads, right? So there's no, firstly, there's no perfect platform in the world, all right? When it comes to running Google Ads, although it's a really amazing platform, but there's also some cons as well, right? So the first thing which I absolutely love about Google Ads is the fact that it's extremely, extremely consistent. Once you find like a winning product, right? You can have like really, really long-term results with like the product they are selling. So we look at a screenshot that I actually shared over here. This is from one of the stores that we are just selling like one uh, main set of products. So with just this one store runs running Google Ads, right? It generated over 814,000 US dollars within the span of a year. So on an average month, we do about like 70K a month in sales. And this is literally just from one freaking store. You can see like the results every single day is like pretty much the same, right? We do about two to three K a day, like year round until in uh, about like Q4. Then we do about like four to five K a day. So Q4 is freaking amazing. All right. So the thing about Google Ads that is really, really awesome is the fact that you can build like a long term brand with it, right? So like, for example, this store, right? If I decide that I want to, you know, turn it into like a brown label brand, it's like really, really easy. Cause right now we are primarily doing like drop shipping, like 100% drop shipping actually. But if I decide like, you know what? I want to turn it into the brand, it's like really easy. Because for one, I know that it's really getting consistent sales every single day. Unlike if you're running like Facebook ads, right? The problem with Facebook ads and like TikTok ads and all these other platforms is, you know, you, you'll find like a winning product and, and it's great, right? You find a winner, it'll sell for like, you know, two to three months and then it just dies off and then you don't do anything else with the product. So that's like one of the problems that I experienced while running Facebook ads. And with Google ads, it's just been like really consistent for us. You know, I noticed that products, they sell for like years, man. I'm talking about like two, three years, you know, and you can make like one to 2K a day with one of these products. You know, you, you can really make like seven figures just from like one winning product. So that's like really, really awesome. The other thing which I really, really love about Google ads is the fact that you can actually automate your business really easily. So if you're running like, you know, TikTok ads or like Facebook ads, you're gonna have to test a lot of new creatives constantly. You gotta have to update like your ads manager like every single freaking day. You gotta make sure things are going well. But here's the cool thing about Google, right? If you're running Google ads, you literally don't... <laughs> okay, I'll answer that you literally don't need to like, you know, check the campaigns or you need to check. But it's like really, really automated, you know, meaning that once you find like a winning product, you set up your campaigns, right? You, you know, they got a keywords and everything, everything is good. Like you literally don't have to make any changes and it just like makes money every single day, right? So like for example, this store that I have over here, the, I only remember making like a few, like maybe like four to five, like serious, like, you know, optimization, you know, changes in the campaign level. Maybe it's like creating like a new product listing to like skill my campaigns, which I'll perhaps talk about in a different video. 
but the point being that i want to share with you guys it's it's very very low low maintenance with a very very high roi right with google so it's really amazing but the the downside of running google is the fact that it is like not scalable you know it's like limited based on the amount of searches that your key your product is getting so not every single product is going to perform very well unfortunately all right moving on to the next point which is um finding product ideas all right so the first thing that i want to you know share with you guys when it comes to product research is don't worry so much at the, about the platform that you're getting the products from because i know a lot of people they tend to like oh you know what i should only find like you know winners on like aliexpress yo gary what's like the secret spy to that you know you're using to help you find a winning product and my answer is you know you can find like winners on literally any platform whether it's on like facebook it's on like aliexpress or like any random spy tool even like just like browsing like at home you're like oh you know what i found a car this is a winning product no this is not a winning product okay so the point being is you know you can find like winners literally anywhere so don't don't sweat it right don't sweat like the platform that you're using but still i want to share with you some tips that can actually help you to actually do your you know product research so if you're finding product research on aliexpress right what you have to do is just basically like browse through the different categories and with aliexpress the nature of the platform is like they just show like a bunch of products right so you gotta kind of like source through to you know kind of like what do you call that um you gotta kind of like you know figure out like which products you know look at like the kind of products that actually you know stand out to you and perhaps like add those products into like a list where you can actually you know consider testing those products okay so what i typically do is you know i have like an excel sheet and i when i'm doing my product research right i will find like you know maybe like 10 to 20 products at a time and i upload all the products into the product sheet and after a while i will sit down and then i'll move on to the next step which is the product validation which we will we'll get in the moment all right if you're using facebook really simple as well can use like a news feed eradicator you know chrome extension or like any software to basically help you to just see ads that are running right now then you just gotta look for ads which which has like a lot of like you know high likes high comments high shares ads that have been running for a while and uh, you know primarily based you know from like e-commerce drop shipping stores ideally right so those stores are pretty much businesses that are also kind of like you know doing what exactly what they are doing so it's like really easy to know whether or not it's a winning product you know if they're already doing it successfully why can't you do it successfully right the other thing that you can use is obviously like spy tools right in regards to spy tools i will not give any recommendation just because of the fact that you know like i only give these um, spy tools recommendations to my students and i don't want it to be like saturated but in regards to spy tools, you can just like really be creative about it, right? Like look up different spy tools and search online and ask some friends, go on Facebook groups and you'll be able to find like some really awesome spy tools and even searching on YouTube as well, it's a really good place to start, okay? Moving on to the next point, which is product validation, all right? So the first thing that I always ask myself when I'm thinking about whether or not I should test a product is, is there anyone selling the product successfully, right? If the answer to that is yes, right, there's like people that is really doing really well with the product, then it's a really, really good thing. Because of what I noticed for myself, you know, this is like a really high level secret. Maybe not a high level one, but this is like a, you know, a, a secret that I, that I kind of like found for myself after spending like tens of thousands of dollars testing on Google, all right. If a product's working for like another dropshipper, most of the time you can also get it to work as well. <laughs> And it's, it's really amazing, right? Because if you're running like Facebook ads, it's a little bit different. You know, if other people are doing well, sometimes you will not be able to like, you know, replicate the same kind of results you're getting. But on Google ads, you know, if you find like a winner that people are already running successfully, there's a good chance that you can make it work as well. Or at least I found it to be true for myself. Second thing, is there like a wow factor to the product you're selling? Is there like a unique selling point? You know, is it like a normal product? Or is it like a really awesome product that can't be found in any retail stores which also led me to my next point accessibility right because you gotta think about it from this perspective you know if you are selling a product that can be found like in like walmart or like amazon which is like very very easily you know accessible to like the mainstream you know public it's like fucking mosquito man then it's like gonna be harder for you to actually you know convince other people to buy a product because why should they buy from a website if they can already you know get it from like you know like the 7-eleven down the street or the walmart down the street right but this is not something that you really want to fret about because most products out there you know even though they have been sold by like you know other like you know amazon uh you know wish these kind of websites you can also make it work so it's you know there's like you know both both sides to the coin on one hand 
you wanna be like aware of it but on the other hand you don't want to let this stop you from testing awesome products okay the last point which is extremely important is there consistent search traffic for the products that they're selling right this is extremely important because the nature of the platform with Google is people can only go and uh, find out about a product if they search for it right so you can't create artificial demand like Facebook with Facebook ads you can just basically just you're, you're kind of like doing door to door sales with Facebook ads right you find a product and then you go and knock on people so like hey buy my stupid ass product <laughs> but with Google ads it's more of like people going to your website or like people going to your you know retail shop and buying the product so it's limited based off like the amount of people that is actually searching for the product so ideally you want to find a product with high search volume and I highly recommend that you have a product with at least 100,000 plus searches a month in the US and a tool that you can use is called Keywords Everywhere this is a tool that you need to have if you're running Google Ads alright you can thank me later okay Moving on to the last one, which is also like sort of like a bonus thing that I want to add on because this is something that I just found out today, not really found out today, but I, I just thought about today, which I thought was really, really awesome, right? So typically when it comes to Google Ads, there's like two ways that people go about to actually, you know, um, to actually test. First strategy is to mass test, which is what like people used to do in the past with Google Ads. So this is basically you have like a general store and then you have like, you know like 10 20 different niche like hundreds of products and you run Google shopping ads to see which products in the store actually convert well that's like the first strategy right but what I found to actually work even better and especially if you have a low budget with running Google ads right is the second strategy which is taking your time to find really really high quality products to sell right so unlike the mass testing strategy where you're just like, you know, freaking like, okay, you know what, boom, 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 we're gonna test this, I'm gonna test this, whatever. With this one product store strategy or like this niche store strategy, right? You're spending more time into finding a product that can actually make you sales and doesn't actually require you to spend like a shit ton of money on like, like you know, mass testing, right? With mass testing, you're gonna spend a lot more, you're gonna blow a lot more money. But with, if, you're, if you're spending a lot more time, right, you know, making sure that the product fit the criteria that we just explained about and you're doing your best to to you know to get the store to look really nice the really nice website design really good copywriting really good like graphics and stuff the chances of you making the product work is so much higher all right and instead of like getting like one out of like 10 products to work maybe you can get like one or three products to work with and you're spending like so so little money on uh, you know advertising this is gonna be really really awesome for like you know many newbies out there all right so we come to the end of the video and before I you know kind of like cut it off I got a really special announcement to make all right so this month I'm setting two more students so if you're interested to actually work with me one-to-one -one and you're keen in learning how to actually run go ahead successfully if you're someone right if you're serious about making it happen right you're not like a time waster because I got so many time wasters in my DM people telling me like yo Gary you know what I want to make money bro I want to get this to work but when it comes down to it people are like not actually serious but if you're the person that I'm looking for, right? If you're someone that's like truly committed, you have you have the money to actually, you know, get Google Ads to work, you know, you have the budget and you're like really serious about it. All you have to do is to go to the link down below in the description, uh, you know, little box there and uh, click on the link and apply for my one-on-one -on -one coaching. And if you're the right fit, I'll contact you via Skype, all right? And lastly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I would really, really appreciate if you could hit the like button if this video actually did help you, all right? And uh, let me know what you actually learned from this video down in the comment section box below. And also ask me if you have any questions down in the comment section box below. I'll, I'll personally reply to every, every, every single one of you, alright? So do me a favor and leave a like because this really helps increase the exposure of the video. And if you are new to my YouTube channel, I really appreciate you hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.